Hello, YouTube. This is the MFN SRA Avis Cup Series Season 3 Daytona 500 live from Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida. On the poll today, picking up right where he left off at Talladega one season ago, Luke Martin will grab the pole. Alongside him, we have a rookie in um, Joseph Clark driving the Cheez It Dodge. Third will be Kyle Watkins over here, and fourth will be another rookie, Zach Buchanan. So, let's get these cars a rolling off. I'm going to have to fast forward a little bit because I think I stopped this really early. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so Luke Martin, well first off, if you're a rookie watching this, you do need to comment on all the races, otherwise you will be removed from this series, and not to boast or brag or anything, but this series is sort of hard to get into, considering so many people want to be in. So, we have 42 drivers here today, and two reserve drivers already, and I dare somebody to ask if they can be a reserve driver, I dare you. Anyway, on a happy note, Luke Martin's going to bring him down to for the start of the season. Season number three is underway. We are green. Like I said, Luke Martin looking to pick up right where he left off with, at Talladega with that win. Zach Bu uh oh, we're gonna have trouble trouble problem blah, 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 problems Big mess Oh Ralph Velho and oh Jeffrey Howe there in the 78 That was the whole field right there but we got a battle for the lead Joseph Clark hanging tough on the outside But I think the bottom is where you wanna be Indeed unless Joseph Clark can get some kind of run I don't think he'll be able to lead. Nope, Luke Martin leads it. Jamie Smith involved. Brandon Bain, a rookie. John Dillon. Greg Brown. Brian LaFlair, a rookie. Oh, we said John Dillon, all of them already. Pedro Ramirez, a Mexican. Let's see what happened. Ooh, sorry, Zach Buchanan just gets flat out turned. I know we missed it, but you saw what happened. Greg Brown comes back up in front of the pack, takes a lot of people. Then Jeffrey Howe gets turned, clips Ralph Velho, comes up hard into the outside wall. And you can see, basically for yourself, a whole bunch of people just get uh, piled up over here. Kurt Gibson is involved. There's CJ spinning down. Matt Edwards, Greg Brown, Tyler Speed, uh... Gearhead, Christian Gearhead, John Dillon, Ryan Acosta, a lot, a lot of guys involved, so, oh, more smoke over here, Randy Carpenter, let's see, uh, he gets forced down, then I think, yeah, Jeffrey Howe or somebody, somebody over here clips him, ooh, it was the Taco clips Carpenter, probably jealous because of their sponsorship issues, well, their sponsorship, I should say. Nas turning a rock star energy drink. So there's that. People going through the grass. Connor Kellis. So, yeah, let's get back to the restart. All right, we are back. There are 27 cars left. We got Luke Martin, Joseph Clark, Bob Fergus, last season's champion. Elijah Koufax, Matthew McMurray, last season's Daytona 500 champion. Jack Richards, Ricky Hawk, the Budweiser Shootout Champion, Phil Jones, Sean Galligan, and Connor Kellis, who has been in the series before under the name Bob, yeah, Bob Parsons. He drove the 17 back in Season 1. He took over for, uh, Mr. Cropoli. Anyway. The green flag is out once again, and Luke Martin gets a fantastic jump. Whoa, Elijah Koufax peeks down low. 
27 guys are left, but I think a lot of them have minimal damage, so... We should actually see a pretty large pack once again. As Martin leads, but here comes uh, Joseph Clark, but never mind, here comes Elijah Koufax, three wide for the lead. Koufax has been in this uh, thing since the start and does not have a win. So, yeah. Koufax is going to lead this lap. Luke Martin forced three wide here in the trioval. Here comes Bob Fergus, though, but no! Koufax slams the door. Connor, Ke or that's not Connor Kellis. Jack Richards up into second. Let's just see what we got here. Uh. Alright. We're going to have a pack of 13. Let's see that. Koufax and Richards are starting to uh, work well together. Matt Earnhardt there in third. Now we got more Earnhardts. We got Noah and Matt, not related, also not related to Evan Earnhardt. So. Jack Richards now gonna dive down low for the lead. And there's the first female driver in Avis Cup Series history, Natalie Haydens, running third, going for second. Ooh, bad move, Jack Richards. Now she's going to go for the lead. Connor Kellis and Jack Richards' paint schemes look very much alike, so I probably will get them confused. As, oh, Haydens almost gets spun out by Connor Kellis, but they managed to save it. Out of turn four, for the first time ever, a female driver will lead a lap in the Avis Cup Series. Whoa! We got people in the wall. I think that was... Yeah, that was Jack Richards. And that's going to string out this draft a little bit. Uh-oh! Phil Jones and Levi Shones! Jones and Shones! They saved it. And look who's in second. Matthew McMurray in one of the two Toyotas. McMurray's going to dive for the lead. I think more people have joined this pack. Look at uh, Kyle Watkins there. It wasn't when we started. Or when we went green. So now, let's see when Jack Richards crosses the line. It'll be a 15 car pack if Richards can hold on to uh, this draft. Then Clive Burr, Alex Ferranti, Noah Earnhardt, Matt Edwards, Ralph Green, Carter Kozlowski will wipe up the rear as Joseph Clark goes for the lead again. Looks like his car is pretty strong. He has the lead now, but not for long, because here comes Sean Galligan in the Hartlepool United uh, paint scheme. They, of course, are Sean's favorite football team. Ooh, I thought for a minute we were going to go four wide. That didn't last long, though. Don't want to... You can barely go three wide here, so... Four wide's a big no-no. Galligan leads up high. Joseph Clark and Matt McMurray. And there's uh, Phil Jones as well. And there's the Budweiser shootout winner, Ricky Hawk, going for second now, I think. Yes, indeedy. Yeah, I think Jack Richards has lost this pack. What the? Tron Galligan leads another lap. Somebody hit the wall again. Because, yeah, this pack is starting to... Who hit it? Might have been Kyle Watkins. Oh, we got problems! Bob Fergus turned! He keeps it going. Will that be a caution? Yes, it will! 
Calling back to the line, Connor Kellis finds himself in second place. But it looks like it'll be all Galligan. Yep, Sean Galligan wins it back to the line. Bob Fergus should be okay. And it looks like he's, n he's not even going to lose that very many spots. Let's get a replay of what happened. Alright, so Fergus is pushing Gearhead and Gearhead checks up or something. Because then Fergus checks up and then Luke Martin turns him. I didn't realize he hit Natalie Haydens. But he actually does a very nice job to keep it out of the out of the racing groove. And I think he does a really cool 360 and keeps it going. So, yeah, but now... That was the good news. Here's the bad news. Well, with the duh, what are you doing, stupid moment of the day, I give you Jeremy Tacos. Yep, that was sad. Now let's get to the restart. Alright, back here for the restart. We got Sean Galligan, Connor Kellis, Elijah Koufax, Ricky Hawk, Matt Earnhardt, a rookie, Gearhead, Levi Shones, Luke Martin, Matt McMurray, and Phil Jones. We'll round out the top ten. We are on the halfway lap right now, but when we'll take the green flag, we will not be halfway anymore. Obviously. So, yeah. Here we come to take the green flag. The green flag is out once again and Galligan gets a great start. Or, uh, maybe Connor Kellis did not get a very good start. Yeah, I think Kellis didn't because here comes Laj. Laj Kofax. There on the 48. Venom Energy and Cobalt Tools Chevy. Not much of a paint, well, no paint scheme at all on that 48, but it looks nice. Let's see how many cars we're going to have in the lead draft this time. Koufax stuck in the middle. Galligan has a really, really strong car. Matt Earnhardt into second now. Uh-oh, we're going to have problems. Goodness. Well, they keep it going. Very good, very good. Gearhead got on the, uh, a little too happy with uh, Matt Earnhardt there. Galligan leads another lap. So. No Earnhardt's by himself. Josiah Cockroach. Yeah, Natalie Haydens did get affected by that crash. Because she's running with, uh, Scraboni. No, I'm kidding. Uh, just running off the pace. Because last game, man, we got problems up here. Gearhead, it looks like. I don't know if the caution's out. I don't think it is. Nope. Hmm. Dang it. Missed it. As Galligan and Matt Earnhardt have pulled away in a two-car draft. Galligan leads another one. Well, this pack is kind of strung out, but we got 17 of them now. And could, it should be more, but Koufax has some damage, as is Ferranti, and Ricky Hawk got involved, looks like, in Gearhead, so, yeah. Oh, we, oh, we have a battle for the lead, Matt Earnhardt finally gonna challenge Sean Galligan for the lead. there's a caution or when the race ends I'll try to figure out what happened between those guys as we go three wide for second Matt Earnhardt leads again there's Matthew McMurray last season last season's Daytona 500 winner now this pack is really starting to get strung out here these two guys battling there's the taco who after riding the wall finds himself 11th Three wide here for fourth? Something like that. Usually, oh yeah, Matt Edwards. Or, that's not Matt Edwards, that's Matt Earnhardt. Silly rabbit. Matt Earnhardt looks like he's going to uh, lead another one. 
McMurray in second, Levi Sh No, that's not Levi Shones, that's Galligan. Oh man, this is gonna take a while to get used to. Oh, Galligan turns Matthew McMurray to make the pass on uh, Matt Earnhardt. That's some very aggressively smart driving by Galligan. He wanted him to go, so he just nudges him in the quarter panel and he's off. McMurray gonna look for the lead, gonna try to make it two Daytona 500s in a row. Joseph Clark there in third, going for second. I think he's in second now. McMurray kicked up to the high side. He leads that lap. I don't think we're gonna run into any lap traffic. Oops. Oh, we got more problems! Will the caution be out now? No! Somebody just drove all through the grass right here! Somebody totally just got spun and I don't know who. Phil Jones leads it now. Through all the smoke. Connor Kellis, Luke Martin gonna dive all the way down low to look for the lead. Oh, by the way, there's nine to go. Galligan looking back for the lead again as Luke Martin leads this one. This pack is starting to get really tight. Something's gonna, something's about to happen. Ooh, Luke Martin shoved to the high lane by uh, his good friend Matt Earnhardt. Oh, we are going to run into some lap traffic. Noah Earnhardt goes into turn three right now as these guys are just entering turn three. This is going to get interesting. Especially considering these guys are going three wide. Nowhere for Noah to go. Uh-oh, we got problems! Big mess! Noah Earnhardt just lucked out. Galligan looks like he's going to lead it back to the line. That took out a lot of guys. See, look at Noah. Lucky, lucky break for Noah Earnhardt. Not so lucky for the guys caught up in this wreck, though. Hmm. Let's get a look and see what happened. First to the stuff that didn't bring out the caution, then to this. This is actually more intense than I thought. Luke Martin goes to make it four wide like a weenie. And then Gearhead doesn't really know where to go from this point. But then Phil Jones is going to push up the track into Luke Martin, back into Phil Jones, who's going to turn Gearhead into Elijah Koufax and Ricky Hawk. So that's why those guys are now off the pace. Ooh, the taco! Whoa! Close call from the taco. Now we will figure out why, uh, why, who spun over here. I got to the bottom of it. It was John Stewart got turned by Ralph Velho. And it looks like this is going to be Danica Patrick-like into that out into that inside wall. But John Stewart does an excellent job of slowing the car down, and he will walk away with, or drive away with zero damage. And then all that dust was from him just driving through the grass. So, yep. Now to the actual crash. We got a five car pileup. Joseph Clark turns M Matt Edward, no, Matt Earnhardt, into Levi Shones, who clips Jack Richards. Luke Martin involved. Connor Kellis as well. Those are your five guys. I don't think anyone piled in like they're about to do. Hmm, nope. So we're good there. Whoa, Levi Shones, what are these guys doing? Look out. That actually cleared the way for Papias, who's probably, yeah, gonna hit the wall right there. But, uh, interesting event, so let's get back to the green for a little shootout. Alright, we're back. We got Sean Galligan, Matthew McMurray, Joseph Clark, Kyle Watkins up in the fourth, Phil Jones, Connor Kellis, Bob Fergus, Stefan Papias, Jeremy Tacos, and Clive Burr. So we're going to come to the green. A lot of that lead pack was just taken out, so we might see some new players. Or not. We're going to have three to go. Here we go. Green flag is out. We are racing. Matt 
Matthew McMurray does the crossover move. That's not math. There we go. Matthew McMurray to the lead, looking for his second Daytona 500. But Joseph Clark wants to, uh, doesn't want that streak to continue. He's going to go down low with help from his Dodge teammate, Kyle Watkins. I forget if they're actual teammates, but I know they're Dodge teammates. We might have a three-wide situation for the lead. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Silly me. Joseph Clark to the lead. Kyle Watkins sitting there in second. Joseph Clark a rookie, so obviously he's never won before. McMurray's going to fight back on the top, though. Three wide for second. That's going to help Joseph Clark. Two laps to go. Clark to the top, all the way to the bottom. McMurray going to slide into second. Joseph Clark is driving the race of his life, and over here, Watkins gets kicked off the uh, kicked off the racetrack as we got a battle for the lead. McMurray back to the inside. We're coming around to take the white flag. Joseph Clark needs to slide in right now as my battery is dying on my laptop. Here we go. White flag for McMurray. Will he lead it back to the line? Joseph Clark slides into second. No move being made yet. Phil Jones going for third. Can McMurray win his second Daytona 500? Joseph Clark is waiting. He's waiting. He better go. There goes Joseph Clark. Down to the bottom. He might have timed this perfectly. Out of turn number four. Side by side. Joseph Clark is clear of McMurray. But McMurray's getting a run on the high side. At the line. Joseph Clark wins the Daytona 500. Oh my goodness gracious, congrats to Joseph Clark. I gotta hurry and get these results before my computer dies. Alright, here are your results. First to 28th, and then 28th to 42nd. I had to do that really fast. So, to make sure I could get everything. But congrats to Joseph Clark, a rookie winning the Daytona 500. Wow, what a, what a race. As you can see the okay thing yelling at me here. So thank you for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, we'll see you next, what, next time.